Let's go ahead and solve another question from non-circular ducts. And this question may look uh, kind of familiar to you because I solved the case for circular at the beginning of this uh, section 4 of the FE review. But in this one what I'm doing is I'm actually changing the temperature. I will make a point regarding that in a moment. And I gave you the mean velocity of 0.1 meter per second. And this time look at it. It says equilateral triangle shaped pipe with each side length is 10 centimeters in length. And what is the Reynolds number closest to? That is the question that I'm being asked, okay? So first of all, I gave you this particular table again. It is on page 198 of the reference manual, 10th edition. But let's go ahead and write the Reynolds number definition. So here's what's gonna look like. It's gonna be the velocity and this diameter hydraulic come back to that in a minute, divided by the kinematic viscosity, okay? So looking at the question, the easiest one is 0.1 meter per second, so I'm good to go. What about the diameter? Can I simply go ahead and call it 10 centimeters and, uh, you know, it will be close-ish? Well, no, not really. You will get a wrong answer, okay? I did it on purpose. Uh, you will get an incorrect answer. So, well, let's properly do it. So the, the way that we do is we call this this dh is four times the cross-sectional area divided by the wetted perimeter. Okay. So then let's go ahead and calculate this for so far so good easy part. Well, you may know this as square root of three a squared divided by four, but I will drive it so that everybody's on the same page. So this AAA, right? So let's do this way. So I'm gonna have this, and this will be A by two, this will be A by two. So if I look at this particular um, triangle, I will get the height of this as, I'm not gonna go to the details, but you're gonna get square root of three times A divided by two, because square root of this plus square root of A by two will give me A, right? That's the reason. So then, if I go out and uh, do the cross-sectional area, I will have square root of 3, A by 2, right? That is the height. And the entire width is A, but then this is a triangle, so I'll divide by 2, right? So you can see that's how we get ourselves uh, an area for the triangle. What about the weighted parameter? I will get myself uh, A plus A plus A, because this is a closed pipe. By the way, just uh, for reference, I can illustrate this can have been an open open channel, right? So that is a common uh, geometry that we may have as well. Okay, and up top may be open. And then you're going to have A plus A in that particular case as the weighted parameter. But now I'm doing this 3A. Okay, let me see what's going on over here. So the A's will go away, force will cancel. Okay, so I seem to get to square root of 3A by 3. I can do a little bit better than that because this is square root of 3 times square root of 3, isn't it? So then I get myself, one of them cancels, A by square root of 3. That will be my diameter. So you can see it is actually quite uh, different than 10 centimeters versus 10 centimeters divided by square root of 3. Okay, so I, 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 I'm, I'm good to go with the H. I'm good to go with velocity. What about kinematic viscosity? Well, we got to read the question. It says it's 45 degrees C. And looking in here, I, I kind of have a moment where I feel, oh no, I wasn't given the 45 degree. So what am I going to do? I look at 40. I look at 50. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make approximation. What else can I do, right? Is this linear? Well, not really actually, right? Uh, look at it at first it's five intervals then it becomes 30 so be careful about it so 30 40 50 60 70 you can see it's not linear okay but there's really not much i can do given the information so i'm going to take the halfway through this and i'm going to call it like six right um so this is ten, to the minus seven if i'm not mistaken one two three four five six seven yeah so it will be six times ten to the minus seven i will go ahead and write this reynolds number will be equal to Velocity is 0.1 meter per second. The diameter, the hydraulic diameter is, which is in meters, divided by square root of 3 meters, and divided by 
6 times 10 to the minus 7. Obviously, you can use the 6.1 or something to be more accurate. But again, this is the best I can come up with, right? Um, and then if I do this, you can see that this will be, you know, so these two will cancel. This will be minus 5, right? So it's going to be Reynolds number will be equal to, as 10 to the 5 is 100,000 divided by 6 squared of 3. So now I have to plug this into my calculator. And if I do that, I will get myself 9,622 approximately as my Reynolds number. What is the unit? No unit, right? And then if I go up there, you can see that A will be the closest one that I have with this. Thank you for watching this video.